Hi, welcome back to the shop. Yes, this is another part in the miniature M1911 series and this time we tackle the Magasin. I already made a test piece from of the Magasin tube from 0.25 mm sheet metal um, and it worked out pretty good. As you can see, I have the profile all around the radius on the front and it's welded together on the back. This is the tool I made to bend these these magazine tubes. Um, it has the profile of the magazine machined in it all the way through with a ball end mill and it has two stop blocks on top that align the sheen metal for the actual forming. You cut a piece of sheet metal uh, with the right width, put it on top, and you take your press die that's made of tool steel and it's hardened. As you can hear it's hardened. Um, and this is going to be pushed into it and as it's going down it's going to form the magazine or the magazine tube. Then we just have to bend the overhang over and weld it. So earlier this is 0.25 millimeters sheet metal and you can cut this just by scribing it a few times with the with a utility knife and then break it. I need a piece about 42 millimeters long, aligning with the using a square, just scribe it a few times. Across. Then when then when you have a nice deep scribe, you just bend it a few times and when it's uh, work hardens it breaks on the scribe line. The last time I formed the magazine tube um, my part seized in the die because there was very much friction and I just forgot to put some lubrication on it. So I'm using some heavy whey oil on the sheet metal. both sides because on the outside it will will um, contact you die and on the other side it will move around my um, forming piece so I look up both sides put my piece between the two stop blocks and now we go over to the vise where we do the actual pressing or forming Okay, we are over at the vise. I have my press die with the piece of sheet metal in it and I mounted the forming piece onto the fixed jaw of my vise. With this type of uh, vise the back jaw is moving and I held everything in place with magnets so I need only two and a half hands for this operation and not five like I would do without the magnets. So I'm aligning everything right now, putting in my, my die, try to hit everything like I should and give it a, a light push. I remove my magnet from the top so you can see the actual bending a little bit better. Okay. I brought the camera in a bit closer so you can see the actual bending. Here is my piece of sheet metal. You can see the edge here and down here. This is my forming piece and here is the die. Um, I'm just going to put a bit more whey oil onto it to prevent uh, to prevent it from seize again on me. Now we go 
just press it in very slow. And of course, we got whey oil everywhere. I'm going to put a rag under it to catch the oil that's dropped down. And the chest bottom bottom everything out and we are done with the bending, with the actual bending. I can retract my vice, pull everything apart and take a look at it. I let it a bit proud on this side to make it easier for me to remove the die or the part with the forming piece out of my die. Um, yeah, I have some overhang left on top. I'm going to machine this down to two millimeters and then I'm going to bend these overhanging pieces in to close the magazine tube on the back side. Okay, <coughs> we're over at the engraving machine and I'm just going to cut these two overhanging pieces down. tight to bend the magazine closed. Okay, we are back at the bench and I'm going to hammer back these two fins on top and just removing any dust that might interfere with the bending and I'm using a piece of, um, this is polyurethane foam, it's ran shaped. This is a pretty hard, um, hard foam that's used in model building and also you can use it for um, prototype tooling and stuff like that and it's pretty handy to bend sheet metal because it doesn't leave marks. I'm going to put it on the edge and hammer it over. First side done, um, of course on this side, first side done, and now we're going to hammer this side over. it down finally. Okay, we're over at the vise and I had a real hard time to weld up the back seam on these magazine tubes. So I came up with this setup. I rigged my tick torch up in a lavatory stand that's fixed back here to the bench and I have a a small steel sub table in my vise with a 
with a ruler on the back side or a guide for my um, for my press for my bending die and what I'm going to do is I will lower down this torch so I get about um, 0.2 millimeter of an arc and then I'm going to do a short spot weld move the move my uh, jig a few few tenths of a millimeter all around take another spot weld move it take another spot weld and that way I will get a nice straight weld seam all along the length of the magazine tube I already sharpened the tungsten There we go. I brought the camera in a bit closer so you can see. Here is the tungsten. It has about 2.2 millimeters of distance to the actual part in here. And I can run my part along this fence to get a straight line. And now I'm going to set up. I already set up my TIG welder to the lowest amperage which shows 0 amps on the display but I think it's more in the range of 5 to 10 amps. Um, I have some, I have about half a second pre-flow on the organ, half a second um, after flow and no ramps. I'm, I'm just taking spot weld by spot weld with this technique and we will see how it works out. Okay, that works pretty good. I got a pretty nice straight um, welding bead. Okay, I'm just dressing down the weld with a jeweler's file. Before I remove it from the press or forming tool. Okay, I got it already out of my forming die and now the, the inner forming block needs to be hammered out out of the magazine tube. I'm just resting it on top of the partially opened vice jaws. I'm going to take a short piece of um, ejector pin and drive the forming piece out. There you have it, the finished or partially finished magazine tube for a one-third scale miniature M1911. Okay, I got a few of the magazine tubes done. These five on this side, they are all they are all bad. This one split along the little, along the seam, the welding seam. When I remove the inner core, the forming forming piece, this one seized in the die. 
This one also seized here slightly and the weld is no good. This one also break along the seam here and this one no comment. And these five are pretty much okay. I got a pretty pretty nice um, weld and the welds cleaned up almost. And those pieces are actually pretty, pretty robust. Let me take one of the... I will take this part, this is a bad part, that's the seized one and I'm just trying to bend it just by hand power. And as you can see, it takes quite, quite some power to get the, the bend on it. It's, it's, a it's a pretty strong structure for this material. Thickness. It's uh, 0.25 millimeters thick and I can't really bend it. Maybe if I get a crimp in it, it might collapse, but uh, so far, as long as it's, um, it's undamaged, it's, it's very strong and that make, makes me happy. And as it seems, weld I'm levering with the screwdriver against the weld the weld is also pretty strong yeah I bent the material here before it broke so this will be plenty strong and I now I have these five pieces and I will try to get at least two functional magazines out of this uh, five raw pieces but um, the machining on, the, on these will be another part um, for now. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again.